Jimmy boy, I don't know what to say to you. I know you must feel pretty bad on account of the way Lulu acted. What can I do? Well, you can't do nothing except tell me what made her do a thing like that. Well, you know, you never can tell what Lulu is thinking about. You said a mouthful that time. A gal is a hard thing to figure out, Andy. Sometimes I can't even figure out my own wife, and I've lived with her for 47 years. But here we was going along night. She told me that she loved it, and she knew that I loved her. And then all of a sudden, she turned around and married somebody else without even telling me beans. Well, now, my boy, uh, I'm going to tell you something. That's what I want you to do. You know, my daughter, Lulu, is a funny girl. She's a hard girl to figure out and get along with. Mm. You know, she's been married several times. Yeah, I know. She's been married five times. Well, to tell you the truth, Andy, she's been married seven times. She didn't tell me nothing about that. Well, very few people know about the other two times, so she don't say nothing about it. Well, how come that she act that way with me like she did? Why didn't she tell me something before she married this man? Well, you can blame me for that way, Andy. You know, when uh, you tried to sell me that stock in the Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company... Wait a minute, wait a minute. I didn't try to sell you no stock in the Taxi Cab Company. Yes, you did now, Andy. Yes, you did no, now. No, I didn't now. All I'd say was, if you want to buy some stock, I'll sell it to you. Well, that's all right, Andy. I'm just telling you the way I got it. Well, what has me selling you some stock got to do with the way Lulu acted? Well, uh... My daughter just figures out that she didn't see how you could take my money and make anything out of it. And she got a little mad because you wanted me to invest in your company. Well, that ain't got nothing to do with me and her. Well, then on the other hand, Andy, you know this fella John Watkins from Detroit, he's got a lot of money, and he's been after my daughter to marry him for a long time. So he comes to town and had to ring with him, so we got married. Where'd they go? I don't know where they're going, Andy. Got on a train and left town, though. Well, that was a fine way for her to treat me. Well, I'm sorry, Andy. Sorry, my boy. Well, I gotta be going. Me and the old lady is going away tomorrow morning, going back to the country. Well, there ain't nothing I can do now, I guess. It's all over. If that's the way she wanted to act, it's all right. Well, Andy, my boy, goodbye. Sorry things turned out for you like they did, but... By gum, you can't tell about Lulu. Where are they going to live, Emmett? I believe they're going to live in uh, Detroit. Well, I wish them bad luck. That's what I wish them. Well, Andy, if you ever get down that way, be sure and drop in to see us. I know my wife will be mighty glad to have you. All right, Emmett, all right. Good, uh, good luck to you. So long. Well, so long, Andy, so long. See you later, my boy. Well, i got to get out of this mess I was in now. He left me flat for another man, huh? That's all right. Well, there's a woman for you. I'll regret it. Well, I don't know what to do now. Hello. Fresh Air Taxi Cab Company Incorporated. Who? Oh, hello, Kingfish. What's that? Oh, I feel pretty good. No, I can't come down to the lodge tonight. You want to do what? Oh, oh, that's all right. That's all right. I don't need no cheering up. No, that's all right, Kingsley. No, he ain't here now. He's out with a taxi cab somewhere. Wait a minute, wait a minute. There he is out in front now. Here, come in here now. Well, this... yeah, hello there, Andy. How is it feel today, boy? Oh, I feel all right. There's the kingfish on the telephone want to talk to you. Hello. Oh, I was already kingfish. How are you? What's that? I can't hear you. Well, we might come down there. I don't know. I talk it over to Andy. I don't want to go to the lodge hall. Uh, hello, kingfish. He said he don't feel like he want to go down there. Well, maybe we come down there. What are you doing? Oh, playing cards, huh? Yeah, that's good. Now I know I don't want to go down there. What's that? Remember what? Oh, yeah, I know we are all brothers in the Lord, yeah. No, I ain't sure that we're coming. That's where you is now, huh? No, no, you better not count on it. What's that? 
Oh, you gonna borrow two dollars, huh? Don't look at me. I ain't gonna lend them no money. I ain't got none to lend them. Well, I tell you, Kingsley, I, I, I don't think we're coming down to the Lord's Hall tonight. What's that? Oh, you send up your effort, huh? Uh, hold the phone a minute, will you? You crazy to lend him money, Amos. He won't borrow two dollars. Told me that he was all brothers in the Lord and you know all that stuff. Said he would send up your after the money. Well, go ahead. Lend it to him if you want to. You crazy if you do it, though. Hello, King Z. I ain't got no two dollars to lend you. I knew we was brothers, but I ain't got no two dollars. What's that? You lost all your money with a hole in your pocket. I know, but I ain't got no money. No, I don't think he got nothing either. Hang up, hang up. I'm sorry, King C. All right, see you later. Goodbye. Every time he want to borrow two or three dollars, he come around here with that brother and stuff. I'm saving my money. I got to get mad at some day. Well, Amos, everything is off. I done talked to the widow's papa today, and he's gone on a honeymoon. Well, I don't want you to get all down the wind. I can't help but feel like she done me a dirty trick, though. But I'll show them that they can't keep a good man down. That's the stuff, Andy. That's the stuff. I'm glad to see you that day, because you know, I didn't want you to marry that gal in the first place. Amos don't never get mixed up with no gal. Well, you know, Ruby Taylor is different than the widow is. There's all alike. No, no, now, you was just mad. Yeah, after if any gal tells me that I'm stunning or any of that stuff, I ain't gonna listen to them. I ain't even gonna look at him. Well, you know we're the partners. He's always saying things like that. You know a woman can get you in more trouble than anybody in the world. If you get the wrong kind of woman to kill. Here I is, the president of a taxi cab company. She come along and just buzz up everything. Don't never pay no attention to nothing no gal tell you, Amos. You get over it, Andy. I call her Snookum. I ought to call her Two-Face. That's what I ought to call her. What is this stuff, love, anyway? Ain't nothing but Tommy Rock. I know, but when you was in love, you think it is something? Yeah, but how you gonna know when somebody loves you? Well, you just gotta find out, that's all. If anybody can do that, there's going some. A woman tell you that she love you, and she don't no more love you than a monkey. Well, I believe Ruby Taylor love me, though. Yeah, she's down around New York or somewhere going to school, and you don't know what she's doing. She might be in love with somebody else. Uh, here's a letter I got from her today. I wish you'd explain me one thing in here. I can't make it out. What's that you want me to explain? This your line right here. Say here, I am looking, F-O-R-W-R-D, that's forward in it. Yeah, I was looking forward, that's right. You say, I am looking forward to the P-R-O-M. Looking forward to the P-R-O-M. P-R-O-M. Hmm. Well, what, what is that? That's prune. P-R-O-M is prune? Yeah, she is talking about you, see? She is calling you a prune. She is looking forward to you, the prune. What do you mean? She ain't calling me no prune, is she? Certainly she is, Amos. She calling you a prune, see? I tell you, Amos, don't never trust no gas. You never can tell what you got.